<laughs> well, how do you like that? I was asleep. I've just been in from work long enough to go and have a sleep, and I, I heard this huffing and puffing and groaning, and then a big kaplunk. And the postman has managed to deliver the first payment for the genealogy work that I'm doing. This this obviously is from George. It's the only person I know who would send me a lawnmower through the post. Well, it's not an ele not a gasoline one, not a petrol one. This is an electric one. But then, of course, you can't send a petrol gasoline lawnmower by post so there we are okay george i'll get on with the research in the genealogy of the faber family well i've got a couple of minutes before the satellite comes over the top and i get the hook up with um the shade tree fix it man so i've just got a couple of minutes to kill um <laughs> Religious music? Hmm, okay. Uh, we could try something a bit different. Satellite, no, satellite has, has come into orbit now, so, right, let's, uh, let's, um, uh, let's get ready to broadcast straight to Dodge Centre. Um, right, George, Alphonse Lefebvre, he was a naughty lad, he, um, he used to make things up, he used to invent stories. But he had a very good friend, another naughty, cheeky little lad, who his mum and dad worked for the Queen. And as we all know in, in French, Queen is Reine, La Reine. And Alphonse's friend Stephen, he had the unfortunate surname of Stephen La Reine. Now, these boys, they, they learned quickly that the way to avoid getting a cuff round the ear from a Norman knight was, was to come up quickly with a story, a story that would amuse people. And they would go off into the woods and they would pretend to be Norman knights and they would fire their bows and arrows and they'd play with their swords and, and they'd get up to adventures. And when they get home, they would tell stories of their adventures. Now, one day they were in the woods, and at the bottom of a tree, there was this big slimy sort of thing, long, thin, slimy thing, and Stephen chopped at it with his sword, and truth be told, the horrible little wretch killed it. Well, they got back and they were late and their mothers said, where have you been? They said, we've been in the woods. We've been fighting dragons and fighting Saxon knights and Teutonic knights and we've been defending France. And their mothers didn't really believe them and Alphonse suddenly came up with an idea and he said, but it's true, it's true. Stephen, Stephen, not me, Stephen, because he's naughty, I'm a good boy, Stephen's a bad boy. Stephen killed a dragon. And his mother said, goodness, I didn't think there were dragons in the woods. And Alphonse said, it was a big dragon, a huge dragon. And Stephen stood there wondering what to say and they said, but Stephen, you've only got a, a little wooden sword. How did you kill a big dragon? 
And Stephen said it wasn't a dragon because he wasn't a very good liar. So it wasn't a dragon. And that is how Stephen Rain started to get the name Cut Worm. Anyway, that's all for now. The satellite is coming out of orbit now and I'm going to lose the uplink with Dodge Center and, and we're going to have to go and, and, and talk to the rest of the world and I've got a, a conference call shortly um, with the new Prime Minister. Actually it's the old Prime Minister, he just got re-elected. So for now folks, that's all. <laughs>